In this video, we will see how to create a serial number for an item or a product in ERP Next. Now, having a serial number for any product or item is really important. So, we need to understand why is why it is important. Now, first of all, if an item will have a serial number, it will be easy for us to track where the item is, like whether it is delivered or not. And then also, it will be easy for us to track like where exactly is the item located in the warehouse, in which warehouse it is located. And it, it can also help us to identify like how many quantities we have and which customer bought which item. So that is one of the reason having a serial number for an item is important. And next is for claiming the warranty. Like when a customer buys something, buys a product which has a warranty. So in order to check whether the particular item which they bought is still in the warranty period or not. So and also to help customers claim their warranty, we need to ensure that the product or the items are having serial number. So that's one of the reason why it is important. So now we'll see how to create it. Now cre creating serial number, we need to have two important. Now here comes the two important stuff. One is purchase receipt and the another one is stock entry. So purchase receipt is when we order some products from a supplier and supplier will accept our purchase order and then they will give you the purchase receipt. So when the purchase we get the purchase receipt, we are claiming that okay, we got this particular products that we ordered from a supplier. And when we get a product from the supplier, we will store it in certain warehouse. So this way we are getting the information, okay, like these are the amount of products that we got. Now next thing is using a stock entry. So, so stock entry is something similar to purchase receipt. Now consider that you are like issuing a material or manufacturing it on your own. So for that purpose, having a stock entry is really important. So this way, again, you can ensure like where the item is located in which warehouse and then you will create a serial number with the help of that. So these are the two important ways in which a serial number can be created. Not ways actually, these are the two important doc types which will be needed. Next one is, um, let's understand the sales cycle first. So we have two different sales cycle. One is we can either buy an item from the supplier and then we can sell it to the customers. This is the most common way. The another one is that we can manufacture the item on our own and then we, ca we will sell it to the customer. So what we'll do is we'll create a serial number using both of this method and we'll understand. So let's go, uh, go by with the first method. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the item list and I'll create a new item. Consider that uh, I will create a refrigerator and item group, let's say product and I'll save it. Now after saving, we need to add the item price. So now consider that we are buying this particular item from a supplier and then we will sell it to the customers. So First, I'll add the buying price. Consider that the buying price is 20, no, 15,000. And next, I'll go back and I'll click on this again. And now I'll add the selling price. Now, consider the selling price is 20,000. Now I, after I've added proper pricing for this item, next thing you need to do is you need to scroll down and go to the serial numbers and batches section. And from here you need to check this has serial number. Now you need to one, note one thing like for example now the item is created and now if you went on and created a sales order or quotation or anything, sales invoice or anything, after that you won't be able to check this box. So now you, are, you will be able to check it because there is no sales order or nothing is created against this particular item. So now I'll do has serial number and I'll say REF, yes. So whatever this, uh, the serial numbers will be generated, they will be of this particular series. Now that we have done this, next step is we need to go ahead and create a purchase order. So let's do that. Okay, I will go and click on add purchase order and let's select a supplier and here I'll select ref. Okay. 
refrigerator okay the spelling is wrong just I'll correct it let's say we are ordering five from the supplier five refrigerator from the supplier so now we have created a purchase order basically we have re requested this number of item from the supplier give me a minute I'll just correct the spelling all right now next thing is I will create a purchase receipt so you can either create it from here or you can create it from here let's say we'll use this option okay so here if you see we have refrigerator accepted quantity now here if you I'll add the accepted warehouse like where is the where will this item go let's say stores and I'll save it now even if you don't add this information by default it will consider this one stores because it is set as a default warehouse and submit so here if you see purchase receipt created and following serial numbers were created basically we got the five uh, refrigerators from a supplier with this all serial numbers now when I'll be selling them to the customers when I'll create a sales order I'll use this five only for selling so this one was done now let's go and create a sales order let's add a customer and here I'll add refrigerator delivery date let's say it's today only and if you see here the selling price is 20,000 which is correct and then save and submit okay so we have created a sales order for one of the customer now next thing is I'll go ahead and I'll use I'll create a delivery note now in delivery note we will see how that serial number will be used and added for the customer so you if you see there is one refrigerator quantity is one now you need to click on that edit button and you need to scroll down and here if you see there is an option that is add serial number also if you see we have the available quantity from warehouse so that's why warehouse is really important because that's where all the serial numbers are tracked now I'll say select to add serial number and I'll select this one basically we are selling this refrigerator to customer and save it and submit so this much is done now what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you I'll create a warranty claim and just quickly show you like how it will be used there so if I select I'll select the customer and if you see whatever per sales order they have done like here there is a refrigerator it is it is showing in this list now if I use any an another customer let's say Henry and if you see we don't have any other options here because they have not purchased it and even even if they purchase it without a serial number then also we won't get the options here so I hope this much was clear like we did this first sales cycle that is item creating purchase order and then purchase receipt sales order and then delivery note and all this now next option what I'll do is I'll use this stock entry option and let's see so I'll go ahead and I'll create a new item again this time I'll create a washing machine and I'll say the item group is products and just save it So as usual I'll go and add the item price now since consider like if here if you see there is no purchase order purchase receipt so what I'll do is I'll only add the selling price we will consider that we are manufacturing washing machine like it's standard selling and I'll add price as 30,000 
thousand. So this much is done and as usual we will scroll down and select this hash serial number. If this is not checked then it's of no use. So I'll say WSM and save. Okay, next thing is we need to create a stock entry. So I'll go to the stock entry list and add a stock entry. So right now let's say that we are creating a material receipt. Basically we are saying that this item we already have it and default target warehouse will say stores and here also we'll add the item code. Okay, so later I'll make a whole detailed video about stock entry, basically entire selling, buying, shop module. So we'll come back to it again later. And here we need to add the basic rate. 30,000 so here if you see the quantity is just one and so basically now we have created the okay what happened So let's submit it now. So here again if you see after adding stock entry there was only one serial number created because the quantity here was one. If it would have been 10 then 10 serial numbers would have been created. So now the step is same again like we already got the serial number now what customer can do is they we can create a sales order for any customer. It's the same process from now on. Let's select this same customer again. One and save it. Next I'll go ahead and I'll create a delivery note. Delivery note is can be created either after creating a sales invoice or before creating a sales invoice. So after you are creating delivery note you need to create a sales invoice. So do remember that. This is just for the demonstration I am showing you just for showing the serial numbers. So here again if you see we have the option add serial number. So I will select that and I will say this one. Now again I'll go to the warranty claim list now here if you see there is one more serial number so if if any sales order is created so that one will be linked over here so that was all about creating a serial number I hope you understood it now also let me show you one more thing. So I'll go to the serial number list. So in order to set the item expiry date, like the warranty expiry date, we need to go to this uh, serial number that was created and here you, you can add the expiry date. So let's say I'll add it as 8th of February, it's let's say 28. So whatever date I will add that will be displayed in the warranty claim, like it will be automatically fetched. So that is one thing that we can do. And also here you, if you see the status is updated depending upon the sales order, delivery note or sales invoice like. So all of this are linked. So that's why having serial number is really important. So I hope you understood everything in this video. Thank you so much for watching.